Hello and welcome everyone to day nine in this quest for 2000 rating on chess.com. And I had a request from a viewer for shorter time controls. Uh, so today I will try a 10 minute game. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Hopefully the video won't be as long and uh, you won't be as bored. <laughs> All right, uh, let's find an opponent here and see what happens. Once again, I get black. I think I might have had one one white game out of uh, nine of these uh, Quest for 2000 games. All right, E4, E5. So we're both taking control of the center. They attack my pawn, I defend, and a Rui Lopez. All right, so let's attack their bishop. Uh, they retreat. All right, so. Uh, what do we want to play next? How about, um, let's see, we'll just go ahead and develop our knight. They develop theirs. So, uh, let's see, we will go ahead, we could possibly just attack their bishop. Um, so, I'm going to just go ahead and develop this. All right, so now let's attack their bishop, uh, fortify our pawn in the center, And now we could possibly try and pin their knight, but they've stopped that. So let's go ahead and castle. All right, so they decide to move here. Um, now, let's see. I think we can go ahead and just attack their bishop. Try and knock out their bishop pair. And bring our other pawn up as well. Okay, so we will go ahead and knock out their bishop pair. Uh, then we can go ahead and attack. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I think we'll go ahead push forward here and just see what they do now. All right, so what will happen next? Okay, so they develop their queen. Uh, we'll go ahead, develop our bishop. And just see what happens next here. All right. Okay, so they retreat. All right, they didn't want to take our bishop pair, so I'm kind of surprised by that. Um, we'll just go ahead, develop our knight back to the center, and then we can try and jump up here uh, to d4. Okay, maybe attack their knight. So let's go ahead and do that attack their knight threaten to break their pawns here although i don't know we might want to be careful and i think i need to move my rook let's see Could leave it there and threaten to push this pawn forward, this F pawn, try and trap his bishop. I mean, that's a possibility. 
Oh, and if he tries to capture, uh, well, then we would recapture and fork. All right. Well, now what? Do we just attack? Uh, yeah, we might as well. Might as well just attack his knight. Okay, now, do we just go ahead and break open his king side here? Um, first, maybe we should go ahead. Well, let me think. Should I capture there? Then press forward. All right. Let's go ahead. Press forward there. And just see what they decide to do. All right. Well, now we can just press further here. Attacking his bishop. Gain space on the uh, king side here. All right. So he retreats. Now, should we go ahead and attack there? Um... Uh, Let's see, let's see. Probably we should develop our queen. Mm. Let's see here, let's see. That knight's in a pretty good spot. Um. All right, we're wasting too much time, so we'll go there. Maybe we can lure his knight down in there. Okay, so he decides to do that. Um, we should capture towards the center. And now we'll just see what he decides to do. All right. Okay, so he retreats. That was surprising. All right, now what can we do here? Um, if he threatens to come back that way. Um, uh, well, now we could attack here, break open his king side. So. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, now what? Now what? Okay, he decides to jump down there. Okay, well, we should go ahead and retreat our Rook. Then he may come down here with his knight. Um, all right. Well, we should double our rooks up. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now 
what? Now what? Bring this bishop down here. Okay, what did that do? It protected this pawn. So we will go ahead, line up over here. Then maybe we can line our queen up there as well. Uh, and we need to hurry because if we're not careful, we're going to start running out of time here. Okay, do I ignore that? Let's go here, possibly. Ah, eh, I don't know about that. All right, well, if I go there and he blocks, I capture, he captures, I capture. Go ahead and ignore that. We'll threaten an attack there. Okay, so what are we, even on material now, although he has two rooks, and he's probably about to break up my pawns here, so that is probably not good. Um, I do have the bishop pair, so that is good. Um, all right. I'll just recapture. Let's see if I have anything better that I could do. Okay. So he tries to go there. Let's go ahead and protect our pawns. Hmm. All right, we'll go after that pawn. And now we're getting down to uh, some low time here. So we have to watch out. All right, so he ends up doing that. I'm just going to go ahead and capture there. See what he does. All right. Um, do I go there? No, I need to push forward. Go right there. Hmm. All right, now what? Need to move this bishop and start pressing forward here. Move the bishop, start pressing forward. All right, 
so he decides to go that way. All right. Well, I guess I should try that. All right, now I'm trying to watch out that I don't run out of time. So that's the only problem with uh, trying to do these 10 minute games. All right, well, what should I try here? Um, well, I guess I should just go up here after this. Just go after his rook. So if I go after his rook, now his rook is kind of trapped. He'll have to either move it, but then I'll get his bishop. If he captures with his rook, then I'll get a rook uh, for a bishop and a pawn and I might be okay but I don't know the time is low we're run just running out of time here uh, so this could be tricky well now he doesn't even well he gets that pawn okay uh, let's see here what can we do um, we'll just attack his Rook. See what he decides here next. Okay, we'll do that. The only problem is we have opposite colored pieces here. All right. Um, I guess I should go here. Try and pick off his pawns. All right. Well, I'll go there. See what he decides. All right, and do I attack? Will that do anything? Should just go there. All right, let's go after that. After that, <sighs> we'll attack again. Ah, don't want to go there. Okay, we'll go there. Go there. Oh no, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. And I'm going to run out of time.
And what I ran out of time. Well, that is why I have not been playing shorter time controls. Uh, because the game just turns into garbage at the end where everybody's rushing around. So I don't know if I'm going to stay with these short time controls. The game just turns into a sloppy mess. And I don't know. I mean, just uh, leave your comments on what you think. But yeah, there I'm just trying to rush at the end. And it was pretty ugly. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, we'll do a quick game review. So they played a little bit better, 73.2, which they had more time and then I was rushing around. It looks like I was actually winning here. Or no, they were winning at the end there. And so because we were both rushing, they missed that. And then the game became even again. It looks like I was winning back here. So I'll definitely have to see what that was all about. Okay, uh, so here we go. Uh, I'll just blast through these moves real quick and then I'll go back and do an analysis that way I can take time and and see what was actually going on Okay, so at this point it looks like I'm winning the game Excuse me with this rook sacrifice but you know whatever happened after that I guess I messed up and didn't take full advantage of it uh, let's see. Yeah, probably because by then I'm already you know, running short on time and rushed. Okay, so they capture, I capture, and here it says I should not have... Oh my gosh, yeah, see, I missed that because I was just starting to worry about my time being low already. I could have just captured this pawn, attacked his bishop, and my bishop would have been attacking his queen. Uh, so that's the stuff you miss you know, when you're trying to rush through games. All right, we'll just go through the rest of this messy, messy game. And let's see. So they made a blunder, or who made it? I made a blunder here by pushing that pawn. Oh, because then my bishop is under attack. Yeah, see? And then they let me capture their bishop, or did I just miss that? Uh, such a mess. And then I finally capture it. Okay. Yeah, we just played at a 1500 level, both of us. Uh, equally messy. We... It just came down to a race against time. So I don't know. I don't enjoy those games as much when you're just playing sloppy chess, trying to play fast. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the analysis from the beginning. It says, uh, here's the, the game review, says you had a pretty competitive game there. The opening was balanced. The middle game was fairly even. And we both played a nice end game. I don't know about that because as the time went down, we both had some mistakes. All right, game review and analysis now. Um, let's take a look. So we played E4, E5. Uh, good solid opening moves, which usually lead to uh, more tactics and exchanges in the center. Although here, after knight to f3, attacking the pawn, knight to c6, defending the pawn on e5, bishop to b5 is played. And so this is the Spanish, uh, or the Rui Lopez opening, uh, which is supposed to be uh, maybe the best opening for white uh, when white plays e4 and black responds with e5. Uh, so... The only problem with the Rui Lopez is that there's so much theory on it because so many top players through history have played the Rui Lopez that uh, it comes down to a lot of memorization, possibly, uh, depending on what lines you pick. And, you know, you may have to memorize line like moves that go 
20 or 30 moves out it's pretty crazy so uh now we have a6 attacking this bishop you know forcing the bishop to make a decision to capture the knight or retreat he retreats back uh which is usually you know you can capture this knight but usually it's better to retreat back and keep your bishop pair and this light squared bishop can be a strong bishop aimed up here at the king side uh, so I just play uh, a knight move here, developing my knight, getting closer to being ready to castle. Uh, they go ahead and develop a knight as well. And so we're still in book moves here. Bishop to e7, a book move, just developing the bishop uh, here for defense. It may be a little more passive, uh, but the bishop is pretty safe here. Uh, and now they play d3. Uh, which is interesting. I guess they want to secure the center more here instead of pushing forward. Although it says castling here is better. Uh, so maybe we're out of the, oh, the book uh, moves already. Uh, so I just continue to attack their bishop. They retreat. Uh, and now I play here d6, uh, which will help uh, make room for this bishop if I want to bring it up here, uh, you know, towards the king side. I mean, I guess I could also go to b7 and try and attack up through the middle. Uh, so, oh, and also this move for, helps fortify the uh, pawn in the center. So they play h3. The purpose behind this move, other than giving your king an escape square in the end game, possibly. Uh, is to prevent this bishop from moving down to g4 and pinning the knight to your queen. Uh, so I go ahead and castle. Uh, they develop their bishop here, and the computer says that's an inaccuracy. And now the game is 0 0.41 in black's favor. Uh, it looks like just a3 would have been better uh, to give your bishop an escape square. So... Now that they did not give their bishop an escape square, I go ahead and attack the bishop, trying to get rid of his bishop pair. Uh, he tries to hang on to the bishop, uh, but this allows the knight here on f6 to capture. And it looks like I overlooked a better move, which would have been c6 here, that attacks the bishop, and the bishop's protected by this knight. Um, so, after capture, uh, we have, uh, let's see, so I capture the bishop, they recapture, I move my other pawn up here, uh, which will help fortify the center, and, you know, then I can bring my knight over here to c6, and maybe jump up here in the center with the knight, uh, as long as he doesn't chase me away. Uh, so now... The queen develops, and the computer says that this is an inaccuracy, and that once again, c3 would have been a better move. And that's a common move in the Rui Lopez, playing c3 to help fortify a d4 pawn push and try and break open the center here. Uh, so bishop to b7 is a blunder. Hmm interesting oh okay yes i just overlooked that completely and so did they uh here they could capture my bishop and then if my queen captures their queen could capture this other uh, knight over here so uh, this technique this tactic is called overloading the defender so the queen cannot capture or excuse me cannot guard the both the bishop and the knight at the same time of course so white overlooked the opportunity to just go ahead and capture this bishop uh, then i would have to recapture uh, and they could capture my well i wouldn't have to recapture but then this if i did recapture with the queen the knight would be captured by his queen so that was overlooked uh, so now they retreat back uh, i move here to the center and it says that f5 immediately would have been better threatening to push forward and trap their bishop so 
uh, they castle and once again I do not play f5 and I should have because then it would have been uh, negative uh, 1.18 in black's favor so they move here better would have been to capture this knight uh, and so uh, it says that that was a mistake and now uh, f6 huh they preferred f6 there you know but then you know i guess there could be a possibility of capture uh, but then they would have to move that all right anyway um they retreat which it says that that is the best move to just retreat back um but it is negative 2.5 in uh, black's favor here mm. so now i play f5 but of course it is not a good move f5 is a mistake better would have been to capture the knight and break apart the king side all right well i guess with the clock ticking a lot more is overlooked in the game you know just gets kind of sloppy so i attack here uh, they retreat, I move my queen, they capture, I capture, chasing their knight away. Uh, but it says better would have been, hmm. Let's see, better would have been d5, just moving into the center there. All right, so I press forward, attacking their knight, uh, they capture, I capture and it says that that is a mistake better would have been d5 hmm, interesting trying to get rid of my doubled pawn and give my bishop more scope possibly all right so they move here and that's a miss uh, it looks like knight captures on d4 would have been better huh that is interesting they wanted to capture that pawn and then oh okay i would have to retreat so they'd get a free pawn out of it and then the game would be because the queen is attacking now all right yep so more mistakes <laughs> rook to f7 is a miss it would have been better uh to just double up my rooks all right okay so the king moves over here uh f4 would have been better i just move forward here or excuse me move over doubling my rooks threatening to capture here uh on f2 the queen protects the f2 pawn uh, but better would have been knight to f5 all right now i just reposition my bishop but it says rook to f3 would have been better i guess to block this pawn from being able to move forward so now we have a counter attack over here uh, with a c3 pawn push and it says that that is a mistake better would have been to bring the rook over first maybe before you decide to push all right so uh, my queen just moves over here threatening to capture this pawn uh, now we have this knight blocking which the computer says is the best move but at this point it says that uh, black is winning here so capture uh, which it says is a brilliant move and I don't get those brilliant moves too often but I guess I didn't follow it up okay so capture is best uh, and now capturing with the queen is best uh, so we're still threatening to capture this pawn and now um, the queen moves in here to protect the pawn and I thought well I could just capture if he captures then I come out a pawn ahead but I had an even better move uh, queen takes d3 should have been played so if I would have played this I'm attacking the bishop uh, and 
Uh, the queen is under attack here. So it looks like, hmm, they're saying that the best move would have been queen to g2 to help protect the king. Uh, second best is to give up your queen and capture here. Uh, and then also queen to h5. So, you know, what would happen if they would retreat back to protect the bishop? Well, that would lead to a mate in nine, it looks like. So uh, the best way forward be, would be queen captures on h3. Uh, then the king would have to go to g1, uh, the only move available. Uh, and now, let's see. Oh, then you could immediately threaten here. Threaten a mate in one with bishop to b7. So lining up here and threatening a mate here on g2. So then, uh, let's see what happens next. It says that uh, you'd have to block with f3. You know, but now you have the bishop, the queen, uh, and the rook all lining up here. And then you have two defenders. So, uh, looks like queen to g3 check. The king would have to move to h1. Uh, and now you could have rook to f5 threatening to just move over here with mate and it looks like queen to b3 is that what they're saying queen to b3 okay interesting so it's saying either queen to b3 with check or bishop uh to g5 here blocking is the best way forward so if they try and counterattack. Well, it looks like maybe that just delays the inevitable. Um, you could go ahead and just block here. Uh, and then they would have to block. Anyway, white would be in trouble here. So let's get back to the game. Uh, after queen to g4, I capture, which was a miss. Uh, so then they recapture. Uh, I capture and this is a miss. It's saying better would have been to capture here uh, Which makes sense because then I wouldn't have doubled pawns and, and a weakness here So I should have just captured right here All right, so if I go back and look at that instead, I should have just captured there uh, They would capture but then I would have these two pawns uh, kind of blocking this path of the bishop and black would still be ahead here all right looking at what happened in the game so i capture they capture uh, i recapture which is best uh, but now i have these doubled pawns up here which were just a mess uh, a rook slides over the best move attacking uh, this unprotected bishop uh, so now what i play Bishop to f6, the best move. Um, they attack my other bishop, which is not protected. And what did I do? Did I retreat back? Uh, I went bishop to f5, and better would have been to just push this pawn forward. Hmm. Because now they can capture this pawn. Uh, so just sloppy play because the clock was ticking down and I don't know I just missed all kinds of things so I don't know if I'll continue these faster games maybe I'll try one more uh, and see how that goes all right so now they move down here attacking this unprotected a pawn uh, but the computer says that's an inaccuracy and it looks like bishop to d6 would have been better uh, so I push forward so my bishop can protect, but now that's an inaccuracy. Bishop to e4 would have been better. All right, so we have this, a mistake. So now both of us are just playing some uh, 
pretty bad moves. Huh. I probably should have just captured here. Then if he recaptured, then I could capture up here with check. Huh. And then moved over here. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. So I moved there. It's saying better would have been to capture. So this was a miss. And now the game's about even. So instead, I should have captured here. Uh, he would recapture, attacking my pawn. Uh, but now I could just play bishop to e4, which would be the best move. Protecting the pawn uh, and getting ready to march this pawn up further, possibly. Uh, looks like rook to e7. Okay. Well, let's get back to the game and see how it ended. So I attack his rook. Uh, he captures, which is a brilliant move uh, because you know otherwise he would retreat and I would just get a bishop. But this way, at least, I capture. Uh, he's able to capture a pawn up here. Um, and now I play rook to g8, which is excellent. But now the game is even better. It would have been bishop to e2. Um, so he attacks, although rook to g3 would have been better. Uh, I just retreat. So he moves up here. Um, rook to c1 would have been better. So I take control of this open file. But now the computer doesn't like that. It wants me to move forward here. All right. So an attack here. Uh, I move up to protect that pawn. Uh, and now we have this threat of pushing here. So... Uh, says that's an excellent move, but better would have been to move here, protect this pawn uh, when they attack. Uh, all right, so they go there. I capture. Um, capture. Attack. They protect. Um, hmm. All right, so now we're just playing sloppy moves, moving all around, and it's just a mess. And then here I play a blunder, just give up this bishop here. So now I get a pawn, and I'm attacking, and so now they make a blunder, and I could capture their bishop, but no, I missed that. And then now I'm attacking it again, and they miss that, but I finally capture so what a big mess here. So capture, uh, I move here, which they say is best. Um, and now that is best, rook to d6. So I don't know, we're getting lucky picking the best moves here. Um, I attack, which they say is best. Um, king move, which is best. So I capture the best move they capture. Uh, I move here to gain the opposition. Um, and now they retreat back, and that is the best. So I go up here to take the opposition. Uh, they move over. All right. So now... I move here, and this is the best move. So king to g4 uh, is the best. And now it is saying that, uh, let's see. What is it saying is best here? They're telling me to move to king to e3. Does that even make sense? King to e3. I mean, I guess if he goes forward and he tries to get my pawn, I would get his pawn and then it would just be a draw. So, hmm, very interesting. 
Okay, so it's saying king to f5 uh, would be played, and then I could play king to f3, uh, and then, I don't know, we could just capture each other's pawns. But if we go back here, uh, I need to be careful that after this move, and he goes here, that I do not do this because then he can use uh, this trebuchet maneuver where you push forward here and now black has to move away from the protection of his pawn because of this uh, white's pawn covering e5. So I don't know, we could have something like this, but then white would be winning because he could just capture uh, and Let's see, uh, if he tried to move down here, you could just move forward, and white would have control of the queening square here and just start marching his pawn up. Um, you know, even if he went here, well, now he could just do this, uh, although first he probably wants to move his pawn. So let's go back. Could try this. Then, if he tried this, now you could move here and just march the pawn down. All right, anyway, uh, I hope you were uh, able to hang around for this entire game. It was so messy. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll try one more of these quicker time controls. But the game just turns into a sloppy time race instead of a good chess game. At least that's what I think. Um if you haven't uh, liked and subscribed, uh, please do so. Uh, feel free to leave comments, suggestions, uh, requests, uh, which I, you know, if you put in a request for a video on a certain subject, I could try and do that. Uh, I may not have as much time uh, between now and the holidays, but hopefully uh, once the new year starts, I'll be able to uh, get back into taking more requests and doing more um, maybe other videos. So thank you everybody and have a super chess day and see you the next time.